Give us a call and receive yours today. The number is 855-730-WORD. That's 855-730-9673. Or visit us online at thewordnetwork.org. Amen. The word is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I know the Bible says it's God that's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. But God is the word. At 5.30 a.m. right here on The Word Network. You're watching the largest African-American religious network in the world. We are The Word Network. This is a Word Network special presentation. This is a Word Network special presentation. Thank you for joining us today as we're live in studio with Bishop Greg Davis. Well, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And we decree and declare as we do every day, send now prosperity into your life, in your home, in your business, even pastors that are watching. I have pastors tell me all the time that they watch in their office so if you're in your office right now man and woman of God God has a miracle word for you today I believe today I believe that this is the year that we will live our God given dream God given dream God given yes. dream not just a good idea let me tell you what a dream is not a dream is not a whim a dream is not a wish when I wish upon a star no, it's not just a good feeling. It's not just something that, oh, you know what? I thought about it and I'm going to do it. No, it is the thing that God allowed your mom and daddy to get together and bring you forth. It is the reason why you have become who you are today. There's a dream in you. And I prophesy to you by the power of God. And I decree and declare by the power of God that pastor man of God, woman of God, business person, entrepreneur, housewife, whoever you are, there is a dream that's coming alive in 2018. We are live right now, and I'm on fire right now. We are live in the studios of the Word Network. We're sitting in somebody's dream. Yes. This, was some, this was a thought in somebody's mind, and I'm sitting in it today. Let me tell you something. You need to understand that Television was not my dream. Uh, I'm getting ready to mess some of y'all up. Celebration Church, the pa churches I pastored was not my dream. The dream that I had was that this gospel that God has given me to carry now for almost 32 years, that I would carry it to the nations. I didn't know how. I didn't know how that was going to happen. Being that my mama was a prostitute. Being that my daddy was never saved. But God gave me some great grandparents that knew the Lord Jesus Christ, that pastored the Welcome Baptist Church. We get the dream mixed up with the vehicle by which God uses to take the dream forth. I just said something. Mm. The word network is the vehicle whereby my dream became realized. The churches that I preach in, God uses, uses those as the vehicle. Don't get the vehicle mixed up with the dream. Today, I speak to every dream, 855-730-WORD, 855-730-WORD. We want to pray for your dreams. I got help. I got a mighty prayer warrior to push your dreams out today. 855-730-WORD. We want to get you on the line. We want to prophesy to you. She's going to prophesy to you. We're going to speak into your dream. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Number one. I'm getting ready to introduce her. Number one, you got to have a dream. Genesis 35 and 7, the Bible says, and Joseph dreamed a dream. The second thing is, you got to see the dream. He saw the dream. He saw himself rising above his mother and father and 11 brothers. Number two, you got to speak the dream. Even if people don't like it, y'all ain't saying nothing. Even if people don't like it, you got to speak it out of your mouth. After you see it, let me tell you something. I exercise every day, but the night before, I see myself on the treadmill. You only saying nothing. Then I begin to speak what I'm going to do. So number one, you got to have a dream. Number two, you got to see the dream. Number three, you got to speak the dream. 
But number four, y'all ain't ready for this one. After the announcement, always expect disaster. Mm. After every dream has been announced. Get ready, Zena. After every dream has been announced, always follows disaster. Somebody will think, well, I don't have a dream. That's the reason why uh, I, I'm going through all the hell I'm going through. Or maybe this is not my dream. No, a signal that you are dreaming the right dream is all of the hell that breaks. I'm preaching in here. Yes, that Y'all can say, man, I got an audience. <laughs> that breaks loose in your life. After Joseph announces the dream, his brothers then get jealous. They begin to say, I'm a th y'all got your, y'all got your, 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 in a minute, I ain't going to need the amen because I'm going to feel my co-pilot. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You need to understand immediately when he announces the dream, then his brothers say, oh, really? The daddy even got mad. Oh, so you're going to rise up above us. So they plotted to kill him. They plotted to kill him. But how many know praise will always stand up? Yes, sir. Judah stood up and said, you know what? We ain't going to kill him. We're just going to throw him in yes, the pit. Sir. You got to get ready for the pits that will come after you announce your dream. So if you're going through hell right now, dial 855-730-WORD. That means there's a dream. I speak to every dream. I speak to every dream. Your dreams shall live this year. Pastor Zena Pierre is in the house, and I don't say it lightly. Pastor Zena Pierre is in the house. You watch her every Saturday right before my show. She comes every Saturday. Welcome, woman. I don't I didn't mean to get excited. Man of God, you I got mean, me I, all excited. You, Hallelujah. I'm sorry. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So good to be here. What is God saying to you about dreams? Glory to God. Well, you know, in, in Dave and in, uh, in his situation, glory to God, as Joseph was walking through this thing, uh, you could hear I would, the Lord was reminding me of how the brothers would say, here comes the dreamer. Here, come the here dreamer. comes the dreamer. Yes. And God is saying, glory to God, that he's positioning, positioning you in a posture that folk who did not like you, they won't have a choice but to say here comes the dreamer because what God puts in you glory to God is not just going to manifest for you before a whole body of people that you're connected to but you've got to speak out of your mouth what you see and you've got to say it until you see it manifest if Joseph had not said it even in a position of unpopularity it would not have come to pass what God was doing in the earth and so beloved Whatever God has spoken unto you in a dream and the enemy, I hear the, in, uh, you know, on. I hear the come Lord on. saying, Bishop, that there are those who have suffered with not remembering dreams. Ooh, yes. Glory to God. Yes. And that's a demonic attack upon your dreams because what the enemy does, if he knows that God is moving something in your spirit for you to see through the manifestation of a dream, but you don't remember it. Glory to God. It's a, it's a veil that the enemy has tried to place on over you in order for you to not see the next steps to where God is taking you. But I prophesy to Come your on. life on this day, Come glory on. to God, that every demonic dream, every demonic veil, every demonic diagnosis that the enemy has spoken against you to cause you to not live out your dreams, we decree and declare on this day that that thing is broken and destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. And I heard the Lord say while you were saying that the scale yeah. are coming off coming your off. eyes. Yes, sir. You're getting your memory back. Yeah, yeah, God yeah. said all the hell that you went oh, through in glory. 2017, God said this year, this year, this year, I'm giving you double for your trouble. <laughs> Listen, I want to read something. I, I wrote these declarations. They're called Bishop Greg Davis 2018 declarations. This year, I live my God-given dream. Everybody say that with me. This year. This year. I live. I live. I like the audience. My God-given dream. My God-given dream. You got to say it like, like she said. Yes. It. You got to say it until you see it. Hallelujah. Number one, 18 declarations. If you could put them on the screen, sir. This year, every chain of bondage and defeat is broken off of my life. I will live in freedom. Before you can live the dream, you got to be free. Yes. You got to be free to move. Yes. Number two, number two, this year, I will remain focused on my God-given dream. It shall and will come to pass. Mm -hmm. There it is right there. That's I want to get these in your hand. I want to get these declarations in your hand. Not only do I want to get this in your hand, I need you to understand, just like with Joseph, when he made the announcement, all hell broke mm -hmm. loose. 
You got to know how to fight the enemy when he comes against you. So I've written a book called The Art of Spiritual Warfare, Engaging the Enemy and Expecting Victory. I decree and declare you're going to have victory. You're going to you may you may start in the pit. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to Mm -hmm. receive it? But you are going to end up in the palace. Yes, sir. The pit is not your final destination. You ain't preaching with me, (laughs) Najina. Number two, number two, seasons of preparation for ministry. There are 14 seasons that you go through. Seasons of isolation. Mm -hmm. Seasons of preparation. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Mm -hmm. Seasons of loneliness. Yes, sir. These are seasons that God. Joseph ended up in jail. He was left by the baker and the butler for two years. They forgot about it. Seasons where people will forget about you. It's mm-hmm. called seasons of preparation mm-hmm. in ministry. That's also, me and Pastor Zena are going to pray over these prayer cloths. We want to get these prayer cloths that are prayed over and all down. Y'all ain't saying nothing in your hand, mm-hmm. along with a bottle of oil. We're sending you five things. The bottle of oil, anoint your head daily. Take your prayer cloth with you. Read the book on spiritual warfare, the art of spiritual warfare. Get your declaration card. Read a declaration every day or read them all. And then seasons of preparation of ministry. I want 100 of you to go to the phone line right now and sow a seed of $88. Eight stands for new beginning. God is about to give you a new beginning. Not only one, but he's about to give you double for your shame. The Bible says double. Come on. Double, double. And and we're in a season, glory to God, where the Lord is releasing unto you those things that the enemy has tried to really blind you from. Uh, I see that there are some of you who have been really dealing in the area of spiritual blinders. It's almost like walking around with these things that are covered here and, and the focus that you've made yourself. Uh, Bishop, I had released this a few weeks ago that many people are suffering from blurred vision. Glory to God. Blurred vision and even in their dreams, trying to to see things, but they're not clear enough. And so you wake up trying to remember what you saw, remember what you believe God has said, but you can't necessarily retain all that God was speaking. And the Lord is saying that in this season, those things are being broken. Come Glory on. to God. You got to go to the line right now, 855-730-WORD. And I promise you, double eight means double new beginnings for you. You've been through enough hell. You've been through enough troubles. You've been through enough trials. You've been through enough of all the things that the enemy denied you from. This is your season, beloved. These books here, I promise you, you're going to be blessed. The declarations, when you decree and declare a thing over your life, glory to God, and you believe God for it, so shall it be. And so when you read these declarations, beloved, anoint yourself with the oil, uh, pray with that cloth, and begin to read these declarations, and you will see the manifestation of God's transition in your life for you. Glory to God. Number 13, and we're going to commercial. This year, I will not die with my God-given dream on the inside of Mm. me. Psalms 118 and 17 says, I shall live and and not, not don't preach with me, and not die and declare the works of the Lord. Mm. The works of the Lord is your dream. 855-730-WORD. I want to get all this in your hand right now. We'll be right back. We're going to Mississippi when we come back. Celebration Church of Detroit is on the move. Join them starting Sunday, October 1st at 9 a.m. at their new spacious home, the Auditorium of Southeastern High School, 3030 Fairview on Detroit's east side. Come and receive a life-changing word from Bishop Greg Davis starting Sunday, October 1st at 9 a.m. for 90 minutes of praise, worship, and the word. Their new home, Southeastern High School, October 1st, 3030 Fairview. Welcome back right now, 855-730-WORD. If you would like a prophetic word or prayer, we're going to the prayer room in about 12 minutes. Pastor Zena Pierre, we're going to tell you about something she has coming up later on in the year. Also, she's starting a new ministry. I don't know if she wants me to tell that. Annie in Mississippi is on the line. Welcome. Good afternoon. Praise him. Good afternoon. I'm asking for a word from, from my life from the Lord. All right, Mama. Glory to God. Uh, Annie, woman of God, 
the Lord is saying that in this season, you've got to remove some folk. There's some toxic influencers that are around you that have pulled you to a place, woman of God, where your focus is off. You've been dealing with some things where you're trying to make decisions on things, but it, it seems murky. It, 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 there's no clarity there. And God is saying, glory to God, uh, that when you get in a place in him, he said, tell her to come back to the place where she first believed in me. Tell her to go back into that room in that corner in that chair where she spent time with me, where she studied my word. Uh, but now things have been a little murky because because she's allowed busyness and the busyness of people to take her off. But the Lord is saying restoration is your moment and your time right now. And when you trust God beyond what you believe. And, and here's the thing. And I don't do this, Bishop. But new beginnings is really your portion. And, and I'm telling you, wherever there's a need, you got to sow a seed into this thing, Annie. I don't do this, Bishop. But I promise you, when you sow that $88, I promise you this what I hear from the Lord, that 88 is going to transition some things even in the area of your finances uh, because people have been pulling on you and pulling on you, but you have not had the ability to have anyone pour into you. This is your season to be poured into, woman of God. Send the seed and watch God blow your mind. Eight five, thank you, Annie. Eight five five seven three zero word. I want to get a couple of more callers. If we have them waiting, let's get them through. Eight five five seven three zero word. Today, I speak to every dream in your life. It is coming. You, you know what? By the end of this year, some of y'all that's working for somebody, you getting, you getting ready to have your own. You, you getting ready to walk into your own. But you have to understand there is a process. Yeah. He, he had the dream. He saw the dream. He spoke the dream. And then this is where we get lost. This is where we give up, preachers. This is where we throw in the towel. You ready? The disaster. The disaster, yes, sir. Some of you, if you'll be honest, God called you at the most unopportune time. Some of you were going through divorce. Some of you were going through financial ruins. And God said, okay, this is when I want to use you. Just when you are in your pit of life. How many realize that the process has to take place? Mm -hmm. I want to get it in your hand right now. I want to get, it's called the Living the Dream Package. I want you to dial the number 855-730-WORD. I want to send you the book, Seasons of Preparation for Ministry. It'll tell you the seasons that you go through. You got to be prepared for the seasons it's on the screen. Also, the art of spiritual warfare, engaging the enemy, and I expect victory. And along with that 18 declarations that God gave me, if you decree a thing, it shall be established in your life. Yes. <clears throat> want to send you a bottle of oil so daily that you anoint your dream wherever you write, write the vision and make it plain. 855-730-WORD. Alex is on the line from New York. Alex, Hello. yes, welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Hello? You're on the air. Okay, um, what's going on is that I, um, I have dreams and I can't remember. It's like the blinders are on me. I cannot remember my dreams. There you go. She just said that. She just said, come on, speak yeah. to her. The, the Holy Ghost has showed me, glory to God, that there are those who are struggling with not remembering your dreams. What that is, is it's an attack of the enemy to blind you from the very messages and warnings and signs that God is trying to share with you. And here's what you need to do, because I was going through a season of that too at one point. Anoint yourself every night, glory to God. Anoint yourself and pray. Ask God to show you what you need to see when you lay your head down to sleep and to cut off anything that would distract you or blind you from spiritually connecting to the release that God is trying to place over your mind and your spirit as you're sleeping. So Father, in the name of in Jesus, name of Jesus. Oh, Shanda Masia, I decree and declare over her life by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, that everything that's tried to block her, every demonic diagnosis of attack in her sleep, we overturn and arrest it right now in the name of Jesus and we thank you for clarity even in her dreams in Jesus name amen 855-730 word a seed of $88 get it in the ground and, and I'm trying to fight from saying it's two things I need to say one is about Pastor Zena and I'm going to use her story as a part of the parallel of Joseph 
Um, but the thing, there are three of you that God is speaking to for a New Year's seed. Mm -hmm. This is the new year. A seed that will break the back of the enemy. And when I say this, yeah. it always comes to pass. There are three of you that need to sow a seed of $1,088. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It was a $1,000 mm -hmm. seed, mm -hmm. preachers, don't judge me, mm -hmm. that got me where I'm at today. Mm -hmm. I sold it to Pastor Rod Parsley for a TV camera that he needed. And I believe you, I'll fight you over it. I will fight you. I believe it's that seed that I sold that got me sitting doing Christian television 12 yes. years now. 12 years in Christian television. Unheard of because of a $1,000 seed. Yes. Three of you right now need to go for your dream. You're expecting big things. Yes. Get that seed in the ground right now. I want to send you all of this material. Listen, the other thing that happens with Joseph, this is, this, this, you, you'll understand this, mm -hmm. is... Reuben says, let's, let's not throw him in the pit. Let's, let's, let's sell him to the Egyptians. Yes. Egypt always represents going in the opposite way. Yes. In the opposite Ooh. way of what the dream looks like. Mm -hmm. Egypt means I'm going down. Spiritual Egypt means that I'm going down. Y'all understand? Y'all ready for the announcement? Sometime you got one thing planned. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But the dream will take you oh another way. Y'all ain't not my oh shot. Because you're trying to focus in. Najita, don't preach for me. You're trying to focus in right here. You got a certain level that you're trying to get to. But I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, that ain't my yes, shot. Sir. But God said, I'm trying to take you to the world yes, while you're trying to go to the White oh, House. My, my, I'm trying to take you global. Oh, my, my, God my, said, it is not to be contained inside the walls of the church. I'm trying to take you global. Yeah. Oh, so I'm going to take you down to Egypt, Joseph. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Because I'm giving you an Egypt anointing. Ooh. I'm giving you a marketplace Ooh. anointing. I'm giving you an anointing that can't be contained in the four walls. You will go in one place. Talk about it. Talk about oh, it. My I, I, I was going one place. I was, I was working on Hillary Clinton's campaign as the National Faith Director for African American Outreach. Bishop Davis and I were engaged uh, in him doing a lot of outreach on behalf of the campaign. And, 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 and the plan was that, you know, we would go back to the White House. Bishop Davis was going to be engaged uh, at, at whatever level God was going to release him to because he had been such a blessing uh, to me and to the campaign. But it didn't happen the way that we thought God was going to release it. But let me say this to you, beloved. Sometimes uh, we may assume or think that this is it, that this is the big pie in the sky. Mind you, I had been in the White House before. I was special assistant to the president for intergovernmental affairs, President Clinton. So I've been there and done that. Glory to God. But 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 when God shifted that thing through, during the campaign, while people were mourning and going through and lamenting and believing that it was the end of the world, uh, I was reminded that we serve <laughs> a risen Savior and it's not the end of the story. Glory yes. to God. And so when when... I came to visit Bishop because we had connected. He had went to the convention and God had just blessed him to do different things. And he invited me to come to this show in February of last year. Wow. I did not know, glory to God, almost one year ago to this day that the Lord was going to open this door for me to be right here. Thank God to you and to Kevin Adele for allowing this opportunity. And I, I'm on his show. I'm praying at the end of the show, glory to God, of Availing myself, not even a dream of mine, as you said, Bishop, but it, it certainly was a blessing to be here, but it wasn't my dream. Glory to God. But sometimes, beloved, even when it's not, it, the unspoken blessings and the unspoken prayers uh, that somebody else has spoken over your life, you never know who may have been speaking on your behalf. And here we go. That's right. Man of God, Mr. behind Adele. the scenes, That's right, Mr. speaking Adele. to Mr. Yeah. Adele. Yeah, yeah spoke and, to <laughs> Yeah. I'm just yeah. speechless yeah. because God is so good and he's worthy to be praised. And the more you bless him, the more you trust him, the more you stay in a place of not tripping, but just trusting, not going through any changes, just knowing that God will make a way. Because here's the thing. No president was my God. You're right. Right. I wasn't depending on no one to, to, to feed me and to clothe me, but my God. 
And the same likewise with Joseph. If he had relied on all the stuff that he had went through to be a deficit to his life, he would have never attained what God had released in his life. And you got to be ready for when God, and even when it's not popular, you know, you got to go through some pain, beloved, because pain is a part of the process of the transition. And Come even on. glory to God, even though Joseph was in a place where many of us would have said, I'm not going to take those kind of hits. I trust, trust me on this. When you take the hits, God gets the glory out of all of it. And when God gets the glory, he will tell your story. He will raise Come you on. up out of your pit and get you in a place, glory to God, where you will tell your story to the world and you won't have to say nothing. God is about to send somebody that got your name on their lips and throughout the whole yes, story sir. of Joseph. Joseph, Joseph had favor on his <laughs> life. And one day of favor is better than 1,000 yes, hours sir. of yes, labor. Let me yes, say it again. Oh. One day of favor is better than 10,000 hours of labor. You trying to labor your way. Favor is not money. Yeah, yeah. God's about to put you in that chariot right next. Y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> All you need is to meet one man that will change yes, your sir. life. Y'all yes, ain't saying nothing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This woman came here and met the owner of the Word Network. Oh, yeah, come on, do a show. God is trying to put us in position, y'all. We're trying to just have church. Live your dream. I want to get it. Ray, if you could show it one more time. I want to get the book in your hand right now. The Art of Spiritual Warfare, Engaging the Enemy and Expecting Victory. I want to get those declaration cards in your hand. You need them. You need them in your hand so that you can get up and read all 18. I decree and declare this year I, I, I bind the adversary, yeah. every satanic force that will come against my dream on the journey. Your dream is a journey. And then I want to get in your hand seasons of preparation for ministry. I want to get the prayer cloth in your hand. I want to get the bottle of oil right there. For a seed of $88, some of you can sow 118. Some of you, there are three of you that can mm -hmm. sow that 1,088. Mm -hmm. We're going to the prayer room. We're getting ready to walk. Can we walk now? We're going to walk to the prayer room. 855-730-WORD. 855-730-WORD. Dial the number right now on the screen. We're going to pray for you right now. We're going to pray for you right now as you sow that $88, as you sow that 118 Get something in your hand. I don't care if you ain't got but $8. Get it in your hand now. 855-730-WORD. We believe in God that dreams are coming alive. We believe in God that dreams are coming into fruition. We believe in God that no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. We believe in God that every dream, your church dream, your ministry dream, your business plan right now, call right now. We believe in God that dreams are coming to pass. 855-730-WORD as we walk to the prayer room right now. 855-730-WORD. So that seat of $88 now. Believe God right now that God is going to do it for you. 855-730-WORD. She's going into the prayer room. She's going to prophesy over your dream. She's going to speak over your dream. She's going to speak life over your dream. Are you ready to live? What is a dream? Your God-given thing that he has given you to do. Your dream, that thing that keeps you up all night long, that thing that causes you to lose sleep, that thing that stirs you and say, you know what, even though I'm sitting at this job, this is not my final place. What assignment has God given you? 855-730-WORD right now. 855-730-WORD. Get that $88 in the ground right now, a seat of $88. Call the number right now, 855-730-WORD. We're about to go in the prayer room and pray for your dreams. Speak over your dreams right now. I want to get the declaration card in your hand. I want to get the books in your hand. I want to get the oil. I want to get the prayer cloth. 855-730-WORD. We're going in the prayer room now. We'll see you next time. has been a Word Network special presentation brought to you by the friends and partners of the Word Network all over the world. For every problem, situation, and subject, there is a word from the Lord. 
And now, the Word Network would like to make it easier for you to discover that word with the new Subject Bible. This soft quality leather bound Bible is strategically divided into three sections, all with large print. The entire King James Version, an alphabetical index that lets you look up any subject in alphabetical order, and the entire Bible arranged by subjects. That's right, all 31,173 Bible verses are used to cover over 4,000 topics, including idolatry, failure, miracles, family, and more. And if you order now, you'll also receive this exclusive CD and DVD combo pack of information that contains over 100 Bible translations, dictionaries, maps, photos, and commentary. This package is valued at over $1,000, but you can receive it now for your love gift of $150 or more. Give us a call at 855-730-WORD and watch this package increase your understanding of God's Word. On the inside, you exchange your dead sin. Gospel Truth with Andrew Womack on the Word Network. You're watching the largest African-American religious network in the world. We are the Word Network. One of the things that breaks my heart today about the church is that it is full of lethargy about the return of Jesus. People are yawning instead of yearning for their Lord's return due to the lack of preaching about what's going to happen when Jesus comes back.